Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Richard Branson! Um, they told me last night, they say, he drinks English breakfast tea. Could you please get some? And, I'm, and I made a note for myself on my phone. I think I'm always going to remember, please remember to buy Sir Richard Branson some black tea. And so I have. Is this a good one? This is Taylor. It says... Uh, uh, appointed by His Royal Highness from Wales, is that okay? Um, I, I think you know exactly what a knight needs at this time. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, no, no, it's already hot. Now, the proper amount of time to brew a tea is? The proper amount of time to brew tea is, uh, what is it, three and a half minutes? Whatever you say is correct. <laughs> so, uh, please mark the time. Uh, I, I had always I had been, always been told five minutes. Are you all like mi milk? Yes? Five minutes seems good. Okay, wait, wait. But wait, you put your milk in first. Oh, this is highly controversial. Someone please get this. Sir Richard Branson puts his milk in before the tea actually brews. And I have, I've got uh, some sugar. Do you take it with sugar? Uh, no, thank you. That, 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 no sugar. that tea bag barely had time to rest in that water. Okay, fantastic. Well, oh dear. well I've now got a wonderful cup of tea. So, what brings you to Dubai? Where we're, we're actually launching a wonderful... Uh, program for refugees, or the, and the Virgin Mega Stores have got right behind it. I'll talk about that. Made fifty one, made fifty one is the program, right? Yes. Um, you, you're going to be selling products made by refugees in Virgin Mega Stores, exactly around the world. Yeah, I mean, it's just you know they they, they need the dignity dignity of work, um, and um, it's a pretty undignified life they're li they're leading, and um, so you know, and obviously we're hoping that by the Virgin Mega Stores. Um, leading the way on it, that other other retail stores will will join in. So uh, we'll see how we go from today. So you just came back from India. Can I tell you? And this is no lie. I just had some Indian friends send WhatsApps this morning, just a few months ago. OMG! Did you hear? Sir Richard Branson is part Indian. <laughs> well, I'm I'm I was I was equally uh, chuffed to hear that I was part Indian. Um, it it turns out that my great 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 grandmother um, was from India. Um, she married uh, my great 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 grandfather. Yes. <laughs> um, and um, uh, so I'd, I'm afraid he doesn't help in the sun. I don't seem to have any any. <laughs> I still have to put sun protection on. Um, but um, yeah, but I've got a few a few percent Indian there. Yeah, you've ingratiated yourself with about a billion people <laughs> instantly. <laughs> OMG, is this for real? Very smart entrepreneur. Uh, I'm not kidding. There, uh, there's any message. Yeah, so, and, and, and there's a lot of people from India here in the UAE as well yeah. who are going to hear this now, and they are going to claim you. Well, I'm I'm delighted to be claimed. <laughs> I mean, they're they're, they're I, I I love the sort of entrepreneurial spirit of Indian people. Um, I love the way they. You know, a lot of them come up from nothing and, 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 and um, you know, somehow manage, manage for their families. And, um, uh, and it's a very colorful, very, very beautiful country. And, and, um, uh, and our airline, Virgin Atlantic, is now flying both to Mumbai and, and to Delhi. Um, and um, I just came back from you know, meetings about trying to build something called Virgin Hyperloop between um, Mumbai and Pune, mm -hmm. which is a... Which is a um, horrendous road um how long does that road take i, I hear the hyperloop when it works it's going to be 25 20 20 25 minutes uh -huh. and um the, the the you would be about roughly five hours sitting on traffic five hours yeah, you're gonna so. take five hours down to 25 yeah. minutes yeah incredible yeah no it's gonna be good so 2020 is coming and 2020 is a big year in a lot of different ways for you for the virgin group virgin group is turning I hear, now do you ever, I don't know if you, a gentleman never reveals a lady's age, but Virgin Group is going to be 50. My God, that's old. Isn't that they crazy? Must be, they must be feeling, they must be feeling very old. How is so, it possible you so can own a business that is 50 years old and you're not even 50 yourself? <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it? I just don't understand that. It's, uh, they, maybe, they, maybe they've got their figures wrong. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so we've had, we've had 50, um, 50 magnificent years. Um, uh, lots of wonderful challenges, um, and uh, yeah, still enjoying every minute of it. So um, yeah, so it's been a it's been a great company. We've had, I think, about a million people who've worked for Virgin over those years, um, and I think you know pretty well all of them have very fond 
fond memories. And I'm st sitting in front of somebody who actually works say, for Virgin. I was going to say, I have been working for this company for 12 years, and yeah. I haven't had one performance review. And, and your hair gets, it goes, keeps on going up and up and up. It does. That's, <laughs> that's the way I maintain we're gonna my have, We're going to have to cut a hole in the ceiling there, I think, <laughs> just to let it carry Do you realize what it means to me that you mentioned my hair in uh, this interview? Thank and, you. And I've cut all mine off. I mean, I, I, I think now I've seen your hair, I'm going to let it grow again. Oh, uh, you look fantastic. You come to Dubai so often, and you know, we, we're always so, so glad to see you. Why do you make UAE a, a, a stop through that, that you make so frequently? Um, it's a fun, a fun city, as you, as you know. Um, uh, I, I, lo I love the mixture of people here. I mean, you've got, uh, I don't think any city in the world has a, has a bigger sort of um, uh, mixture of people. And I think that makes, makes a city, makes a country um, uh, joyful, basically. Um, and, um, and we have a lot going on in, you know, in, in Dubai, whether it's Virgin Radio, whether it's uh, the mega stores, um, uh, uh, Virgin Mobile, and so on. So um, there, there's companies to visit, and then there's uh, not-for-profit ventures to do, like the one that we're doing today. Of course, yeah. And and I was talking about 2020, uh, Expo 2020. You're familiar with Expo 2020 that is coming here next year. I am. For and six and actually, months. Yeah, Virgin Hyperloop will be proudly showing off its, uh, its wares there, so if people want to go and see what it's going to look like. Um, they'll, they'll, they'll be, be able to go there. I mean, basically, it's a... Uh, it's it, it's a tunnel uh, and it's levitating pods on a magnet um, that goes it can go up to a thousand miles an hour. I mean, realistically, a I thousand think miles an hour. They, they, it could go up to a thousand. Okay. Uh, there are issues um, for the body uh, at that <laughs> speed, um, and um, the, maybe the maybe this break, the breaking the sound barrier in a tunnel may not be a good idea either. Right. Um, uh, but um, you know, so we think roughly 500 miles is the right speed, um, and that's the um, sweet spot. And it's uh, you know, it's these you'll get into this pod, and you just literally you know, on a, mag magnetically, you'll be uh, you know, you'll be you'll you'll be almost fired from one end of the tunnel to the <laughs> other. Um, fired. Uh, <laughs> You're going to be shot out of a cannon, um, and we're going to get you from Abu like, Dhabi to Dubai. In 10 like, a, like a like a bullet, it does get, it does slow up at the end. <laughs> Is that the idea to have it here in the UAE, right? So, so we, we're 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 in uh, a good discussions okay. with um, uh, the airport authority about. I mean, they they love the idea of the new airport that's being built the other side of Dubai, Maktoum Airport. Um, so people can arrive at the current airport or the new airport, but. And then they, they can be, they, they can get in a pod, and the pod can not only go to the new airport, but can actually go to the gate uh, that you want to go out at. Um, your bags just disappear out of the pod and you, you, onto the plane. Um, you don't have to go through customs again or immigration again. Um, I don't have to get the triple get security the check. I don't have to. <laughs> you, 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 because you've been in a in a tunnel, there's no right. danger that you've you've snuck on snuck in. So, um, so. I, you know, as part of the new airport, we very much, you know, we believe that that this will happen. Talk about Virgin Galactic real quick. The 2020 as well. The rumor is flights will begin on Virgin Galactic in 2020. <laughs> well, we sat here for a few times trying to work out when when Virgin Galactic will launch. Um, we had an incredible year um, uh, this year. Um, we we were the first company in America to put. Uh, five well for, to put anybody into space and in, in, um, since 2009 so uh, we had five astronauts um, five of our test pilots go into space um, and yeah it was very emotional time because it's taken 15 years to get to that stage and um, and then uh, we've now moved the whole operation to New Mexico where we've got a beautiful spaceport um, and then we'll, we'll do a few more test flights from New Mexico uh, then I'll go up, and then uh, you're going up. You're going to be the first. I I, I, I um, would not build a spaceship and not be <laughs> the first to go up. Of course. Um, so which so anyway, we'll we'll uh, we'll, we'll go up, and um, I'll come back and let you know about it. Please. And, uh, and then I'm sure you, uh, you and others will go up in the future. We actually here in the UAE. Speaking of that excitement about space, we just had our first UAE Emirati astronaut. Haza Al Mansouri went to the uh, International Space Station a couple of months ago, and it's incredible—the magic of space travel. People are discovering it again because it's kind of it's kind of moved away from that, and you're you're trying to bring it to to citizens, just regular people. Well, with some money, right? The ticket, the ticket. Will the ticket come down in price at so, some point? So talking about it, I just to deal with the International Space Station. I was in India um, yesterday, and 
um, this seven-year-old kid was um, on stage asking me questions. And I said, well, would, would you consider going to space? He said, um, well, I would consider going to the International Space Station. He said, but I'm not sure about the cleanliness of it. And I said, <laughs> <laughs> I said well, look, I promise you, we'll, get, we'll, we'll make sure that it's cleaned up before you go there. Um, but... Um, and I've now forgotten your question. Um, I, don't know, I don't know, but I just want to point out I'm having tea right now with Richard Brand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having tea with this uh, d- delightful individual. Brent, this, sorry, uh, I, never, I never introduced yeah, myself. No, Brett, well, we've, we, we've met before. We've Brett, met, Brett, we with, with Brett, who's got um, the best hairs. Well, you, should, you should be on television. You shouldn't be on, on radio. Not that we want you to leave to go to television. Well, you started um, a radio <laughs> network, so I say you start a TV network ah. and hire me. We'll, 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 sorry, we'll, Alex. We Alex is in the it. corner here, my boss, <laughs> and he's like, I'm out. I'm really no. <laughs> There's no loyalty here. Sorry, I'm yeah. with you. I'm with you. Well, well. Um, anyway, we've got we got a video for filming you, so we'll have to somehow get you have everything. Out. You have everything. <laughs> you got hotels. You're moving to Las Vegas. Next We're moving year. to Las Vegas. There, there, there was a. Um, I, I don't actually go to casinos personally to play them, but um, I was always told. Uh, that to own a casino is better <laughs> you, than to go. You've heard they're a lot so, of fun. So anyway, we, we the, the Hard Rock uh, Casino um, was getting quite tired in Vegas, yeah. and uh, Virgin has taken it over, and um, and our team are doing the Virgin thing to it. Yeah. And they it, just started it, the demolition, I think, two yeah, three weeks ago. Exactly, right? and yeah. it's going it's going to be stunning when it when it's finished. And um, and we're very very lucky at Virgin. We just got these you know fantastic teams around the world. I mean, we've got you know team building a hotel in New York and. Um, they just opened in San Francisco, and um, and you, you, I, you know, I just know that when I walk into it, or when other people walk into it, they're going to go wow and uh, think this is the this is what hotels should all be alike about. And um, how do you I, stand out in Las Vegas? Because it's a loud place. How do you stand out? Because when um, you come, you stand out. Fortunately, Virgin's good, good quite good at standing out. We make maybe make a <laughs> make fools of ourselves. I mean, the, the, I was at the Palm Hotel. Um, promoting uh, a virgin flight into Las Vegas. And uh, the way I stood out was the team said, you've got to jump off the top of the uh, 70-story building and into the, into the party at the bottom. Uh, and, of course, I hit the side of the building on the way down with my bum and, <laughs> well, and ended, ended up dangling like a, a rag doll with blood pouring down oh, my no. legs. <laughs> um, so we stood out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, and, it, and it was red blood, of course. So, we, you know, we made sure that we keep the virgin, the virgin <laughs> red <laughs> in the forefront. Boy, the news it would make if something other than red blood poured out of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should have been blue, shouldn't it? I, I, I'll, I'll have to... I'll, it's I'll like, I knew it. He's I'll, an I'll, alien. I'll, I'll, I knew it all along. <laughs> have a word with my doctor. <laughs> okay. okay, now, we talk about your successes because you've had many. You've had a couple, not so much. Your first, now, I don't know if this is true, your first ever business was Christmas tree business where you wanted to grow and sell Christmas trees, right? I was um, nine or ten years old, um, I, and I wanted to leave school early, so I thought if I plant, you know, three or four thousand Christmas trees, it, it cost five It cost five dollars to get about three thousand Christmas trees. By the time I left school, that, um, they'd be worth thousands of dollars uh, or thousands of pounds and um, uh, and the rabbits got in and ate them all so it didn't, oh, uh, didn't, didn't work out <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed uh, we are every year here at Virgin Radio Dubai we do very good radio I think but we're not very good at decorating our Christmas tree guys bring amazing Christmas trees every year I think this came from Ace anyway and then we let it be naked the entire holiday season. So you now would like me to decorate would you? No, no. Tree. Would you decorate it with us? Of course. I'd would you? Yeah. Like, I'd like now, to. <laughs> um, I'm very excited about this. Now, I do have, I have some music um, to do this, and it's someone you know. Father Christmas. <laughs> uh, it's Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey. Exactly. So, um, thank you so much. Richard Branson. Sir Richard Branson is here on Virgin Radio Dubai. He's going to help us decorate a Christmas tree. <laughs> Virgin Radio.